originated in Greenville, Maryland, um, part of DC district, I guess you could say. And it uh, started out with a group of guys that just like to ride together. And they did it so much and so often that they were just like, hey, you wanna create like a, a motorcycle club? And everybody was down with it. And so they decided to go through the process on the East Coast of doing that. Um, with the bylaws and rules and, and regulations and, and designing their logo. And, and then you had off the line riders. And um, there's the mother chapter that's in Maryland. There's another chapter in Texas and Fort Worth. And then there's the one out here in San Diego, which I'm a part of. the CBR F4I 600 and uh, it's basically a crash rock rocket and she was like the best thing like I ever had she relieved like so much stress um, and I, I started writing honestly because back in New York we would have these block parties and during the middle of the block parties, the Rough Riders would show up and they'd come through the block party and they'd park all the way on one side of the street. And everywhere you would look, there was just a, a line of roads that just took up one side of the street and they were full of just bikes. Kind of like what my press says, he like has this motto. He says, fam is what fam does. And I used to look at him when he used to say that. And honestly, only thing it really means is, you know, you know, fam's gonna do what fam's gotta do to help out the fam, you know? Cause that's how he looks at it. He looks at it like it's a, it's a, it's a family more than it's a, it's a club, you know, the whole process, the whole whole thing about it is that we're there for each other, you know, and, and not only that, but there's numerous times that I've seen motorcycle riders go down and we'd run back to the crib and we'd grab the wrecker, <laughs> that's what we call like my president's truck, uh, we didn't even know who this guy was or, you know, anything about them. We just know that, you know, we were riding um, and he went down or we were driving and he, you know, he ate shit. So <laughs> we'd be like, oh, we'd stop and pull over and, you know, talk to him. And it wasn't even about, you know, trying to get him in the club or anything like that. It was just like, you know, you ride, I ride, you know, nobody else is looking out for us. Uh, this California, they don't know what they're doing <laughs> when it comes to driving. So we just have to look out for each other. I went down a total of three times and none of them were fun. Um, 
they all happened during the day and two of them happened because some asshole cut me off. First time happened, I was on my way to PT when I was still in the military and some asshole cut me off and I went down, I went up, I went down like on the street and I had to get my bike up, hop on that bitch and go to work. Second time, this asshole, this old dude with his daughter in the passenger, like teenage daughter, just fucking comes out of nowhere on the five. I go down on the five. Went down. I um I was beginning to stunt, but I had already knew how to do like wheelie and sit on my gas tank and stuff like that. And um my president got back from Afghanistan and we decided to roll out and we started stunting. So I did the most simplest trick I knew, just hopped up on my gas tank, but I wound up doing it when we were going up a little, a small incline. And I guess I was putting too much pressure down on the left handlebar. Then I went down and <laughs> I wound up breaking my arm. Wish I got surgery for, but it was the first time I ever broke any bone. And um, when it healed, I, uh, you know, I dust myself off and I got back on and I kept riding. I ended up in this club. I chose this club particularly, one, because at the time that I was a Marine, everyone in the club was a Marine. But more so that I was stationed out here in California. And all my family is back in the East Coast. And I had like two distant cousins that I never really spoke to. Um, so the only type of other family I had were these group of guys that were having trouble with all the time. You know, whether it was to the club or post up, and try to go to an event or, you know, we barbecue together. They was my family away from family.